I make mutant mosquitoes. It's my job. <laughs> Why do I do it? I do it to understand how mosquitoes find us. I want to manipulate their behavior and change that behavior so I can understand what it is that they really, really like about us and how do they sense us. Mosquitoes are the deadliest animals on the planet. They are responsible for the deaths of 725,000 people every year. They carry diseases like dengue and chikungunya. You may think that these diseases primarily affect people in the developing world, and they do, but mosquitoes know no borders. They have no regard for, for boundaries in that way. They only care about temperature, water, nectar, and blood. And unlike other mosquitoes, this very mosquito, Aedes aegypti, is the vector of dengue, chikungunya, and Zika, and it has learned, evolved to thrive in our environment. It prefers our human blood. It is attracted to our odor. It is a popularity contest that we do not want to win. <laughs> Zika, in particular, has, has focused our attention on mosquito-borne illness. The prospect of women delivering babies with birth defects is of great concern. So what can we do about it? The best thing we can do right now is to not get bit. And the reason why is when an infected female mosquito bites you, she delivers disease directly into your bloodstream. This is a powerful pathway for infection. Repellents can break the cycle. DEET is the most effective repellent that we have. It was identified from a screen of 7,000 compounds in the 1940s. It's been 70 years, and DEET is still the best way we can protect ourselves from mosquito bites. <coughs> DEET is safe, but it does have some drawbacks. It needs to be applied at a relatively high concentration of 10% or more to be effective. It needs to be reapplied every few hours to remain effective. The scent of DEET does not travel very far, so it can only protect you, not like an entire room. Right? For some, DEET has a noxious odor, and there is even evidence that mosquitoes can become resistant to DEET. So we need a new repellent, and I think that that's really clear. Can we make an odor that can keep mosquitoes away from our homes? our backyards, far away from our skin, something that is easier to use and lasts longer. I believe we can, but the way to do this is to understand how mosquitoes find us. So mosquitoes detect us using a combination of cues. At a distance, they sense carbon dioxide that we exhale from our blood, our breath, sorry. And as they move closer to us, they smell our body odor. They soon sense our body heat. And then they land on our skin. And then they taste our skin with their legs. Yes, they have taste receptors on their legs. Then they bite us. And when they do, she either infects us with her saliva or we infect her with our blood. And that is how the cycle of infection is maintained. We understand these different processes that go on, right? We understand these different steps, but we do not know exactly how mosquitoes perceive these cues. And using genetics, is a great way to accomplish this. So my lab and others are trying to identify the sensors mosquitoes use to find people. And this is a, a very powerful tool that can give us great insight. So basically, in genetics, 
when what we do is we take something away, right? And then we see what happens to the organism. So if we use the mosquito as an example, we take a gene away from a mosquito, and then we find that that mosquito has trouble finding people. That means that we have identified a gene that's important for mosquitoes to zero in on us. And this is very useful information for people like me because it gives us a way to potentially manipulate mosquitoes' behavior. We need to understand not only how mosquitoes find us, but also how we can repel them, right? And understanding how DEET works is very important. During my postdoctoral work in the Vossel lab at Rockefeller University, I did the first genetic study of mosquito behavior. And one of the questions we wanted to ask is, how does DEET work? We made a mutation in a gene called ORCO. This gene is responsible for mosquitoes sensing the chemical world. It allows them to smell. The thing is, you know, if you take out ORCO, they could still smell some things, but not everything. So it's just a reduction in the sensitivity of the mosquito's nose. We made this mutant, and then we were able to see changes in the mosquito's behavior. And what we found is that ORCO and its related sensors are critical for mosquitoes to smell deep and for the repellency to happen. Let me give you a demonstration of some of the research that we did. So here, we have, in this video, we have arms that are treated with DEET. And then we have wild-type mosquitoes and orco mutant mosquitoes. And you can see, now the wild-type mosquitoes are normal mosquitoes. The orco mutant mosquitoes are mutants that I made. You can see that the orco mutants, they are still responding to the DEET-treated arm. This is, was a striking result to us because it said that orco mutants, orco and its related sensors are critical for mosquitoes to detect D. This information is very useful to us because what we want to do is develop a new repellent perfume. Now, we don't know everything about DEET yet. We don't know whether DEET acts on these sensors to activate them and scare mosquitoes away. We don't know whether DEET blocks these sensors somehow to make us disappear. It, you know, the former is much more likely than the latter, but the case is not closed. It could even be that D confuses mosquitoes into thinking that we're not humans at all. Today, we can use modern methods to identify new odors that are work better, last longer, and protect larger areas. We can today, using these sensors that we've identified, we can screen millions of compounds. In the 1940s, we could screen thousands. Today, we can screen millions in this search for this new repellent perfume. And this greatly increases our chances of finding such a powerful tool to protect people. 725 1,000 people die every year because of mosquito-borne illnesses. My lab is on the trail of this new repellent, and I say that we can use genetics to make a life-saving perfume. Thank you.